Back to Access Carolina. This weekend, you can take a trip around the world right here in the upstate. The Greer Goes Global International Festival is happening at Greer City Park on Saturday. And uh, we've got quite a crew here. Robbie Davis is here from City of Greer, along with Florence LaForge, the director of the International School in Greenville, and a few students alongside um, Agatha and Kira right here. Welcome to you all. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Robbie, first, let's set up that overview. What is somebody's experience going to be when they attend this uh, Greer Goes Global Festival? What happens? Yeah, so from 11 to 4 at Greer City Park, folks are going to come and immerse themselves mm -hmm. in the great cultures and community that make up uh, the beautiful city of Greer. Uh, they're going to hear live music, dance, see dances, smell the food, and then yeah. go around and visit the countries. Oh, and people are going to have so much fun at this. Festival goers learn about more than 40 different countries. Um, there are representatives at each booth, and that includes our friends here, the International School of Greenville. Um, tell us a little bit about the school. Oh, the school, actually, it's the name is the Inter International School of Greenville. We opened uh, fall 2020. 2022, sorry, and uh, it's a kind of uh, immersion school. Our kids are learning English, French, and Spanish. And how long have you been here? You must love the teaching. Yes, actually, uh, I, I was a teacher during uh, 30 years, and uh -huh. uh, when the previous school uh, closed, I decided to reopen another one because it was a, a very great school, so Wonderful. I wanted the kids to follow on. Well, you've got an excellent community he here in Greer. Um, Agatha and Kira, you're, you're both learning French. Um, Kira, what do you love about learning? Um, I love math and... Um, I love them um, to to color and um, it's all and all in French too. Mm. <laughs> Same way. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful language with uh, very good opportunities all over the world and something amazing that to learn. Well, then take me through this display. Obviously, when somebody comes to see you, there's a lot to to go. Oh, yeah. Can we start over here? What do we have? Mm. We have a Notre Dame of de Paris. Ah. Mm. Wonderful. And then obviously down here, some bread. Talk us through what we're seeing. So French baguette, of course, the baguette, typical, we can say stereotype, but we do eat a lot of baguettes. Uh -huh. um, so we also comes with some jam from Bonne Maman that everyone loves with yeah. it. It's typical for every day for breakfast when we eat with cheese and all of that. And then up front, some perfume, obviously. That's going to be part of the display. What do people learn about French perfume when they come by? Fashion, uh, Coco Chanel, big mm -hmm. staples of fashion all over the world, and most of them are made here in France. And who is this? Obelix. <laughs> so Obelix is one of our characters from a very famous series of books in France. Uh -huh. uh, main character with two others, and every French kid knows him. Every French kid loves him, and we all read it when we were young. Fantastic. And then, of course, the wine, the croissants. It goes without saying, right? Champagne, uh, wine, big culture in Burgundy, mostly in France, and in the region of Champagne. We just love it, and it's a big staple in our culture and everything. And it seems like you could just run this show. Tell us, what, what do you aspire to do with your, with your knowledge of French culture and, and language? Uh, probably go into business, international business, or something that I can work all over the, round, all over the world with it and use both languages. And, and something about learning other cultures, it, it inspires. What do you say to somebody watching that's going, you know what, maybe I'll walk around that park. I don't know what I'll pick up. Why is it worth going? We'll have way more um, stuff to show about France. We'll have quizzes. We'll have amazing opportunities for you to learn about France and some activities for the kids and all of that. So come discover our country, our amazing country, Saturday. And Florence, so many people in the Greer area come from so many cultures. That's something to be celebrated in itself. Why is that important? Yeah, that's really important, and that's why I can encourage everyone to join Greer Goes Global. It's a real important way to discover other cultures. Excellent. And of course, the entertainment schedule includes so many great acts, bands, magic, dance troops, uh, Parade of Nations, even Brazilian martial arts. So a very diverse uh, bunch of offerings that we're really proud to put on, I know. So thank you so much for being here, and uh, people will look forward to Gaining a lot of knowledge when they come out there. We'll put the information up on screen now. Greer Goes Global this Saturday, April 29th from 11 to 4 at Greer City Park. Thanks so much. That's going to be great. Thank, Thank you. you.